Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, the last bit of chapter 11 that we need to discuss is something called Bernoulli's equation. And Bernoulli's equation is the following. Pressure P plus rho G H plus one half rho V squared equals a constant. So what does all this mean? Well, this is really just conservation of energy. You can derive this equation for yourself thinking about conservation of energy, but let's just talk about what the different components are. Pressure that comes from the work that goes into it. Remember, pressure is like a force. If we added some sort of movement of this mass, then that would be a force times a distance, and that is a work. Okay? So pressure comes from the work term in conservation of energy. Rho GH is, of course, gravitational potential energy. If I lift up a drop of water to a height h, then there is a potential energy that is associated with that drop. And if we're clever with our dimensions here, we can write that as the density of the water times gravity times how high we lifted it. What about this last term, 1 half rho v squared? This, in fact, is the kinetic energy term of the water. So if water is moving, that's a mass with a velocity, there is therefore some kinetic energy associated with that. In Bernoulli's equation, because we factored out some of these length dimensions, it works out to be one-half rho v squared. So this equation is fantastic for analyzing the motion of fluids in pipes. So let's ask the following question. Let's say we have a water tower, and it's open to the atmosphere on the top, and it's open through a spigot on the bottom. And let's calculate what the velocity of the water is leaving that spigot. And now I will make the screen disappear. And we're back. Okay. So here's our water tower. open to the atmosphere on top and then coming out the bottom here is a nice little spigot that shoots water out. Okay, here's our water in the tower and pretend that this height here is H, the level of the water above the level of the spigot. Okay, we can use Bernoulli's equation to analyze how fast that water is coming out. V equals what? All right. Well, let's call that V2 to be specific. So up at the top of the tower, we have pressure 1 plus rho G H, it's up at height H, plus 1 half rho V1 squared. That has to equal all of these terms at the bottom. So pressure 2 plus rho g times 0 now, we're at 0 height, plus 1 half rho v2 squared. All right. If this thing is open at the top and at the bottom, then P1 equals P2 equals atmospheric pressure p naught. Likewise, the motion of the water at the top means that it's not moving very fast, right? It's not falling very fast at all. We can approximate that as zero. We already said the height at the bottom is zero. So let's rewrite our equation. We have p naught 
plus rho g h plus that became zero equals p naught on the right side p two became zero plus rho g times zero plus one half rho v two squared ah look what happens p naught cancels with p naught since it's open on the top and the bottom it has the exact same pressure on the top and the bottom and now we can solve this equation very quickly the rho cancels out we can divide that out i can multiply by a two and i get v two equals two g h square root that should sound a little familiar to us right that is exactly the same as free fall it's like a little drop of water fell from there to there how fast was it going v in this case v2 that's pretty wild so what does this mean what it means is when you open your hose and water comes shooting out and you ask the question oh how fast is it coming out it's exactly the same as if it had started from the top of the water tower and just fallen that distance h now you know why they put water towers up on the top of mountains because you want your water pressure at the bottom to be significant enough to shoot out that water at a high speed and that's making h a little bit bigger all right uh, that is Bernoulli's equation uh, applied to the water tower problem uh, in class on Monday we'll talk a little bit about Bernoulli's equation and the wing all right see you later